I'm doing this well overdue video on 2017, 2016 to 2017 and the year of the rooster and what it means uh, from an African perspective, an African spiritual perspective. So I know I was supposed to do this, year, this, this video a long time ago, but you know what? Everything happens for a reason and everything happens in due time. So why Chinese astrology and why am I uh, looking into that? For me, uh, for me, I like to say, you know, when I discover certain tools, when I discover certain systems and the tools work well for me, I integrate them, I use them, I apply them. And uh, Chinese astrology and Chinese um, uh, spirituality, certain aspects of Chinese spirituality have been very um, accurate for me and have served me very well. So that's why I'm referring to the Chinese uh, theme every year. Uh, and to my knowledge so far, it, it is the only system that gives this specific theme um, for the year in terms of astrology and in terms of the energy that uh, will be most present. Okay, uh, now if you do know of other systems that do that for an entire year, uh, please share it below. I'm sure everyone would like to know and I'll be curious to know what kind of system you're talking about. Um, and so this year, uh, which started in February, uh, is the year of the rooster. And the rooster, if you look at, uh, I, I'll let you do your research in terms of the Chinese astrology and what it means in Chinese astrology, uh, the different qualities that they have for the rooster, the fire, the fiery rooster, the metal rooster, the different type of rooster that they are in this year is specifically the fire rooster, if I believe so, if I'm not mistaken. But I want to do that from my African perspective because yes, I understand that this year you're the rooster and I understand what the actual the Chinese astrology is saying, but I'm African. My core system is based in African spirituality, so I always integrate the two. So I'm going to, instead of talking, talking to you about what the rooster represents in Chinese, in the Chinese culture, I'm going to talk to you about what the rooster represents for me from an African perspective in Africa, uh, or from Africa. And for me, the rooster, um, the rooster is um, that aspect of ethics, of work ethics. Okay, the rooster wakes up every single day around five, four, four a.m. Depending four or five a.m. Depending where you are, but he wakes up every single day at four a.m. and he does his job to wake everybody else up, to sing at the rise of the sun, to be the first one to be on his at his post and doing what he has to do consistently every single morning, no matter what happens. And that uh, is a characteristic of the rooster that I find that's going to be most valuable this year. And I think it's so synchronistic that, that uh, astri uh, Chinese astrology called this theme this the year of the rooster. Uh, not that they decided, but it was previous, already previously uh, mean that it was going to be the year of the rooster. And which, if you live in the U.S., I think it's so telling, it's so, um, it's such, um, it's such not a coincidence. It's so like, t it's so timely. That was the word I was looking for. It's so timely. Because the rooster also brings you a wake up call. Okay? At that sound, you have to wake up. And I think it is time for you to wake up, to wake up from the, the sleepiness that you've been, the thing that you refuse to see all along. You know, whether it was a bad relationship that you just ignore all the bad side, whether it's a job that, that, that depletes you, that don't, that don't serve you, whether it is that thing that you always wanted to do and you do have the money and the opportunity to do it, now is the time to do it. This is the, the call of the rooster to awaken every single portion of you so you can actually be fulfilled now and here. And be fulfilled not in a kind of materialistic way but be fulfilled from within because a lot of time a lot of us acquire material things so we can be feeling full because inside we empty so it is a call for you to, to feel yourself from the inside to go within and actually look at how you can uh, uh, replenish yourself and the rooster does it, the, the, the way we can look at the rooster is to say, to call on to ourselves that perseverance, that dedication, that discipline that he has to wake up every single, every single day and do what he has to do and do it well. 
do it and do it well. And so it is a call for you to implement that, for you to grab that energy, to use that energy and, be, and, and, and dedicate yourself to do the things that you do and do them well and continue to do them. So if you started a business and you're passionate about it, you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing and it's not quite yet taking off, continue to put in the energy. Continue, persevere. If you believe in your idea, if you believe in what you're doing, the service that you're offering, the goods that you're preparing or you're pouring your love into, then it will work. You just need you to you just need to stay consistent and to continue with it, to stick with it. Okay, and the rooster's energy is there for you to show you. It has been done, it can be done, he's doing it. Okay. Um, the other aspect of the rooster is that um, the colors that he has. He has that fire, you know, the red, the orange, um, the yellow also. So those are the color of fire and colors to me that are the colors of action, to, uh, creativity also. It's time for you to do things. It's not the same energy as the previous day or the previous time where you're kind of like thinking about things you want to do, thinking about things that you like to do, thinking how you may be doing things. No, this is time now to stop the thinking. You know, you've done enough thinking, you are prepared, and to jump in and start doing. Start taking the steps that you've already aligned, that you already verified, that you already planned. Now it's time to start taking them and to, so that they can get you where you want to go. Okay? And so, uh, 2017 for me is really that. For us to be more like roosters this year. For us to call that rooster side the rooster that we have in us. For some of you, it may, it may be a challenge. It may have been a challenge to get up in the morning, to getting up early. Maybe that may be something you want to take on with this energy this year to do that. Uh, maybe it's also something that you want to, there's something you are yearning to do that needs discipline. This year is the perfect year to try to do that, to try to implement that, and to basically uh, put in the energy towards that, to call on to you that, 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 that spirit of the rooster, if you like, as you're doing that. To think about the rooster and say, you know, what he doesn't need people to encourage him, okay? He doesn't need to receive medals. He just does what he needs to do. And that's kind of the way you need to think about things. The, the thing that's challenging you the most. Think about, you know, why are you doing them at the first place? What is the inner reward that you get from that? And that inner reward should be enough to sustain you. Otherwise, you need to change your priorities. You really need to have priorities set that your inner satisfaction and your inner um, energy is aligned with everything that you're doing so that it can be sustainable. Um, and celebrate it. Celebrate it. I think the year of rooster is also about that. It's about the rooster is also, you know, he's the he's the only one in the in the uh, chicken hoop, chicken coop. I don't remember how you call it, but he's the male. He's the that that masculine energy that's all about action. The feminine energy is more about feelings and and curves and um, uh, feeling things. When the masculine energy is much more about doing things. Um, and that's kind of the energy that's around us. It's time to do things. And I think in the U.S. you can see, you know, a lot of things are being getting done. And the question is not worrying about what other people are doing and making sure that, but making sure that you are doing your part. You are taking care of yourself and taking care of people who need you and the people who are around you. And that's really, really key. It's no longer the time to think about what other people can do for you. It's about you taking that spot where you are actually caring for your own self. Actually being able to join with someone else to care for the both of you or to care for other people. It's about building as well. Because that action energy is really the energy that you want to use to build things, to be constructive. Um, and I think for those of you who are starting something new this year, it's going to be a wonderful year to do that. It is also a year, um, you know, 2017, when you add up the numbers, it comes to uh, 1. Even, yeah, it comes to 10, so that means 1. And 1 is a fresh start. So I think all of this overlaps so well. The fact that 2017 is the year, year number 1, which is the beginning. And that the rooster is there to wake you up so you can you get started. So... Uh, use all of that in the thing that you are doing and make this year, you know, um, what it should be for you. Choose what it should be for you and, and, and go for it. No more excuses. Just go for what you really want this year to be because you'll have it. You'll make it that way. Okay. Bye-bye.
。じゃあねー。